Hi everybody. I want to talk to you about Office 365 on an iPad, okay? So here's my iPad and I'm going to navigate to the Office productivity group and uh, see I have these icons over here for Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneDrive, OneDrive for business and OneNote. Isn't that nice that you could have all this av available on your iPad? That I think is cool. Now, if you do not have these icons, here's how you would get them. Uh, what you'd have to do is go to your App Store, okay, and uh, uh, you would look for Word, for example. Uh, and there it is. Uh, there we go. See, we have Word, PowerPoint, Excel, all these available, okay? Uh, now, I already have these, so they're just saying open, but if you, if you have not, if you don't have these uh, icons on your iPad, you'd have to hit the Get icon, like in Google Docs, for example. See that? It'll come up with Install. You click on Install, why it would install it, okay? Um, I'm not going to do that because I have already uh, all of these installed, so I'm going to... Uh, click out of that and go to my office productivity group over here and click on it and voila see here are all the icons isn't that nice uh, now if I click on the word icon I will launch word and see it has access to my OneDrive personal or my OneDrive uh, for work uh, which is at the Chattanooga State Community College. So if I I can access all my files on any of these one drives. So if I go to my personal drive, here is uh, a Word document, for example. If I click on, it'll open it, and voila! See here is the Word document. I can even click in here and type some changes in here. Uh, see how nice that is. Um, and uh, I can edit the document, okay? You have to remember, this is uh, uh, the Word web app, so it doesn't have all the functionality of the full-blown uh, Word um, uh, 2013, but I can do most of the stuff on here, okay? Um, so, uh, that's, that's as far as uh, Word is concerned, okay? Now... If I go to PowerPoint, I click on PowerPoint, and for example, if I click on Land School, here's my Land School PowerPoint. I click on it, and it is opening Land School. Isn't that nice? Uh, voila! Here it is. Here's my Land School. Um, and if I hit on this button up here on the right topmost right corner, it will display at full screen. And then I can go to the next slide, next slide, next slide, next slide, and so on. Isn't that nice? I think this is so cool. That is so cool. Um, I can even do this, and then it's, uh, uh, it's even larger kind of thing. Um, and I can go on to the next one, next one, next one, and so on. All right. Uh, now, if I hit the home button, I can exit out of that. Uh, same way with Excel, okay? I can click on my Excel file, uh, on the Excel icon, and here is Excel 2014. Uh, if I go to my personal budget here, it will download the personal budget from my OneDrive. Is that cool or is that cool? I think that's awesome. 
I think that's awesome. And then I can even go here, uh, uh, over here, and here's my pie chart. Isn't that cool? I think it's so cool. So you see, and again, I can access the files from OneDrive Personal or my OneDrive at work at Chattanooga State, okay? Uh, if I go over here, see, uh, it will access OneDrive uh, at Chattanooga State, okay? Uh, all right, so now, uh, again, if I hit the uh, home button, I can exit out of that. And then, of course, we have OneDrive, okay? It used to be where you had two separate icons, OneDrive Personal. Top one is OneDrive Personal, bottom one is OneDrive for Business. Now they have combined them in just one icon. And I just recently did the update. And uh, um, I am going to, um, uh, here it is. Uh, there we go. See, here are some of the files. Um, and uh, I can go anywhere on my OneDrive and access any of these files, okay? Uh, so, for example, if I go to my documents, okay, um, here's documents, and uh, um, if I go to like smart board, here is my smart board, um, and I can open up a um, smart board quick ref document, it's a PDF, uh, it'll open it, okay, and see, here's the quick ref, quick reference for smart board, and so on and so forth, so uh, isn't that cool, um, and so all my files are on there. Now, uh, this is my OneDrive personal, um, my personal Microsoft account. It's my Hotmail account. <clears throat> but if I want the <clears throat> work account, I can click on this icon. And now that's my work account. If I hit on files, say here are the files in my work, in my work account at Chattanooga State. Okay. So I can access either the my OneDrive personal files on OneDrive or my files on the uh, OneDrive for my work, okay, at Chattanooga State. Isn't that cool? Uh, and that's it, folks. Um, essentially, um, if I, again, go back over here, I can go back to my personal. Uh, and as you can see, my... I log into that with my personal email, percyproc at hotmail.com. And this one is my Chattanooga State account. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that pretty much finishes what I had to share. Oh, one other thing is OneNote. I also have OneNote available. And see, I can, I can see all my OneNote. Um, if I hit the personal web, I, I can see those. Uh, over here and uh, if I go to recent see here are my recent files and so on now if I go personal web um, there we go all right um, more notebooks okay see here are my more notebooks this is these are the notebooks on one drive personal and so on okay so I can access all my one notes one note notebooks from right here isn't that cool and the awesome thing is now that with these microsoft products i can access my files from anywhere i can access them from my desktop from my ipad from my iphone from my windows 10 phone from my surface 3 pro and that i think is really cool thank you for listening bye